SA 500 audit evidence. So sufficient appropriate audit evidence is what we are looking for in case of audit evidence. What do you mean by sufficient? The quantity of it. Appropriateness, the quality of it. So what are the factors influencing sufficient appropriate audit evidence? Degree of risk of ma material mistreatment, materiality, experience gained in previous audit, types of information available. So these are the factors influencing sufficient appropriate audit evidence. Degree of RMM, materiality, experience gains in, gained in the previous audit, types of information available. Then assessing the reliability of audit evidence. How do you assess the reliability of audit evidence? One, it should be obtained directly by the auditor. It should be in written form. Then the original documents, we have to take original document and not the photocopy. Independent sources independent source from independent sources we have to take it then effective internal control so this is how we assess the reliability of audit evidence then audit procedures for obtaining audit evidence there are two things one is method of obtaining audit evidence the other one is audit procedures for obtaining audit evidence audit procedures there are two procedures one is RAP the other one is FAP RAP risk assessment procedure FAB future audit procedure. Under future audit procedure, we have two things. One is test of control, the other one is test of details, which is also called substantive procedure. Test of control, we have design, implementation and maintenance of it. In substantive procedure, we have test of details. Then methods of obtaining audit evidence. What are the methods? Inspection, confirmation, observation, recalculation, re-performance, analytical procedure, which is as per SA 520, then inquiry. Inspection, observation, confirmation, recalculation, re-performance. Then we have analytical procedure and inquiry. Inquiry is kind of important. So in inquiry, we have one question in the uh, past years. So what is inquiry? Like how do we like, you know, uh, obtain audit evidence through inquiry? First one, it consists of seeking information of knowledgeable persons, both financial and non-financial. So we are taking, we are uh, doing the inquiry of a knowledgeable person and it, it is both financial and non-financial then it is within or outside the entity then it is used extensively throughout the audit it is written or oral inquiry that we are doing then evaluating the responses the final one is evaluate the response like how exactly uh, the responses are and uh, is it reliable and all these things so this is the this is one of the methods of obtaining audit evidence then next one is selecting items for testing to obtain audit evidence how do we select items we can either select 100% of the items that is selecting all items then we have then we can take specific items then also we can do it through audit sampling which is as per SEA 530 then this is one of the important topics in this essay. One is that that is management expert. So the first question in management expert is using the work of management expert or nature, time and extent of audit procedure in relation to the use of work of management expert. What is that? Nature and complexity of the matter, risk of material misstatement in the matter, then nature scope, like three natures are there. Nature and complexity of the matter, nature scope and objective of the management expert work, nature and extent of control in management experts work, then auditor's knowledge and experience, then auditor's previous experience. So three natures, two auditors related, auditor's knowledge and experience, auditor's previous experience, then RMM. Then competence and capabilities, competence, capabilities and objectivity of the management expert. What are those? Discuss, dis, discussion with the expert, discussion with others who, ha, who are familiar with his work. His means management expert's work. Experts qualification, membership, license to practice, published papers or books, like what are the papers he has published, his, his qualification, membership and license, then previous work experience, whether we have done some previous work with him, we have worked with him previously, then experts competence with respect to relevant accounting requirements.